Hello and welcome to Digital Soup Kitchen with me, Adam Clark, otherwise known as The Wizard. What is Digital Soup Kitchen, you may ask? Well, Digital Soup Kitchen is a space where I get to play with a whole range of creative digital tools. And this week, we're going to be exploring uh, Masterpiece VR. Now, Masterpiece VR is uh, it's for the Vive. I think it's also for um, the Oculus Rift as well. And you get your two tools. You've got your hand tool on the left and your kind of uh, tool on the right as well, where you can change colors and shapes, etc., etc. It's a it's a kind of a, a sculptural 3D virtual reality tool. So I'm going to be really start creating uh, something in my little box here. So we've got a little kind of square area where we can kind of uh, have fun with stuff. And you've got a variety of different tools as well, from uh, kind of drawing tools to uh, blending tools as well. Now, what am I going to be creating? Well, um, I've got a couple of projects on the go at the moment, and one of them is a dentist game. So I'm going to be trying to kind of draw and sketch out a crocodile who's gone to the dentist. So here we are, I'm going to be uh, creating the dentist chair. And I've sped this up a little bit, <laughs> okay. Uh, obviously it took me about, actually, about 20 minutes to, to create the whole thing all by itself. So, let's start by uh, having a little look at kind of this dentist chair. Now they've got arms, obviously, <laughs> so you put your arms in. And then, uh, and I can draw lines, so we've got this kind of line tool. And the uh, it's I, I was like yeah let's get that uh, that pillow at the top so you you kind of have to sit, go and sit on those chairs and they're a little bit scary to be honest aren't they but don't worry uh, they're not too bad so here we go I'm going to put the uh, the bottom of the seat down as well uh, kind of drawing that all in now some dentist chairs uh, the seat kind of flips up a little bit but I've been to one chair at one place and it has the kind of it narrows down you can kind of put your feet on there like that so here we are I've now with Masterpiece VR, you're kind of trapped in a little box, so you've got a kind of a smallish area to kind of do your work in. And I kind of found the edge of that area, so I've got to push the chair back a little bit. So I'm going to push it back a little bit, I've put, pop it down again, and uh, there we go. I copied and pasted it back into place, and now I can kind of carry on with the bottom of my chair. So once we've got the chair sorted out, we're going to be then thinking about our crocodile, okay, who's going to the dentist. Um, so let's have a think about that. Oh yeah, I'm going to do the, uh, the the cushions on the dentist chair using that ruler tool as well. So it's really important, really good way of kind of just quickly getting a kind of quick st structure sorted out as well. Okay, cool. So let's choose our colour for our crocodile. Now I want this crocodile to be quite kind of cartoony. He's got to be kind of a lovely cartoony crocodile. And again, I'm going to be using my ruler tool to get the jaw, the open jaw, kind of really sorted out. So he's got there his big open mouth. Uh, Open his mouth like that, okay. Pop it down like that. That's pretty good. Although I've made him a little bit too close to the chair, so I think I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to move I'm gonna have to move him. I'm gonna have to move him. So I'll get down my I've got a, another tool which is a select tool and you can kind of go around and select the whole thing. It's actually quite difficult to use. Uh, select the whole thing. Now we're gonna cut it and move it back into place. So I'm gonna put it back up here. And unfortunately, it looks like I've cut the top off as well. So I've reached the top of my cube. I've got this, I'm, I'm, as I remember, I'm in this kind of weird invisible cube. So what am I going to have to do? I'm going to have to, I think, select the whole thing and move the whole thing down. So uh, let's get my select tool again. Um, oh, yeah, I was looking, I was like, can I not make, can I not make this bigger? Can I not like, make uh, this cube a little bit larger? Uh, and I couldn't find anything yet. Masterpiece VR, obviously though, is uh, it's a new bit of software, and I'm hoping that uh, as time goes on, we'll get more updates because uh, it's quite a cool tool. I'd like there to be. Uh, I set some cameras up. Don't want a camera. Chuck that camera away. Let's get back in there. I also noticed my chair's a bit wonky. <laughs> That's okay. Wonky chairs are okay. This is just remember. This is just a sketch. This is a, a thing to have fun with. So I'm going to select the. Oh no, I didn't select it. I was trying to shrink it down. I was thinking I could shrink the whole thing down. That'll help. No, no, Adam, it won't help. What you're going to have to do? You're going to have to select the whole thing, cut it, snip, okay, and paste it at the bottom of the square on this invisible cube. Pop it down there. That should do it. Right about there. Perfect. Well done. Right. Let's get back into uh, creating our our crocodile so it's, it's, it's got a delete tool as well so this one as you can see it's red and you can kind of sculpt you can kind of scoop out the bits that you don't want it does an incredible job at this as well so I'm going to kind of grab that mouth back in there put the mouth back in I need uh, crocodiles have these kind of lovely noses so we've got nose in 
There we go. Do it by hand. A bit of hand drawing. Get rid of the ruler. Okay. Oh, I want to put the nostril nostrils in. <laughs> Lovely sniffy nostrils. There we go. Now, I want to... Yeah, get rid of that, really. Get rid of all this. Smooth it out. It's got a great smooth tool. But what I want to do is I want to fill in. I want to kind of create the, the main body of the character. Okay. Uh, and then we can think about smoothing it and kind of doing all the kind of funny details in later. But what we really need to do, first of all, is kind of get the, kind of the, the whole shape of it. So, and the best bit of this is basically that open mouth. Okay, so that's why I'm spending a little bit more time. There's one eye. There's another eye. Okay. And remember to, when you're doing these kind of things, you have to, when you're doing anything in virtual reality or in, in actual fact, in reality, it's always good to step back a little bit every now and then to take a look at what you're doing so you don't end up with it all being a bit wonky. But here we go. There's the body, uh, and it's just a sort of snake, because he's, you know, crocodiles are kind of, they're long and thin, aren't they? There's some shoulders and there's an arm, shoulders and arm, there we go, there's muscles, <laughs> there's the muscles. I actually felt, a little bit, halfway through doing this, it was like, uh, I felt like I was like a balloon, um, a, a balloon artist, you know those people who kind of get these long, thin balloons, and they blow them up, and they create all sorts of stuff? Well, that's what this was a little bit like. It was like creating balloon animals, uh, but it, with a kind of a VR machine as well at the same time. Very, very cool. So there's our, um, our his doing his feet. Cool. Let's give him a little belly. There we go. Let's put his belly on. Get his muscles in there. This is, he's eating somebody already. That's why he's going to the thing. Right. Get the bottom of his jaw sorted out. Fill that all in. Perfect. Get that his eyes a bit bigger. Get the back of the head done. He's got a brain. Might as well use it. Now, what do we want? What well, we want a tongue. We want, we want gums. Because he's got his mouth open. We want some gum line. The gum line all the way around here. Let's put that on there. All the way around there. There we go. And all the top. All the way at the top. Around the bottom. What? Steady. There we go. Now, we want a nice red hot tongue. Uh, like There it is. Lolling tongue. Put that tongue around the outside there. Fill it all in. It's actually very, very satisfying doing this kind of stuff. It's unbelievably satisfying. Now, I don't want the a tongue at the bottom, at the top of the mouth, but I want it to look like, I want it to look like, you know, the top of a mouth. Okay. Pink, but not kind of like a, 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 a tongue. Okay, cool. I'll we'll smooth it down as well. Get that smooth tool out again. Now, I'm sure this is literally my second go. At doing this okay I had a little go before this is literally my second go so we, it's not it's not uh, it's no it's called masterpiece VR but it's not a masterpiece just yet I'm gonna be practicing with this stuff every week. we'll be doing more digital soup kitchen stuff as well now here's another thing we've got the blob tool but it's also got a cone and I'm gonna use the cone to create the teeth in the mouth so there, there's some teeth coming in there you can you see them there they are again pretty cool Okay, all the way around. Some more teeth, make it a little bit bigger. Now I'm using the VR Vive um, controllers. They've got a trigger. Okay, so most of the time you'll be pulling the trigger to actually uh, creating the kind of um, the actual uh, blobs of sculptural forms that you're making. You've also got a big circle where your thumb is if you're holding it down at where your thumb is. There's a big circle. Now that circle has a variety of different uh, effects. We can actually make the tool brush, the brush, a little bit bigger or smaller. You can kind of uh, just almost like scrolling up when scrolling down. So it's got a very, very quick and intuitive kind of way of doing it. Can you see it there? I just kind of rear, you know, I kind of, you saw the, the blob get bigger and smaller. That was me, back of the thumb, making that thing bigger and smaller. What I think I'll do is for the, my next one is obviously we're choosing colors and blobbing them in. It's very much like a very plasticine kind of way of working. For the next one, I think I might do a sculpture and then try and paint it. Or at least try some more sculptural things. There's lots of things in here which are kind of a pinching and pulling. And um, we'll try a whole range of things as well. Now here I was trying to put yellow on. And if you see, the yellow kind of merges a little bit with the green. Didn't do what I wanted it to do really, which was uh, kind of be a very, very different colour. But there we go. This is about learning. Now, underneath uh, crocodiles, I don't know if you know, they've got kind of like, you know, they've got scales on the outside of the body, but underneath they've got kind of a different kind of texture. So I was trying to make that uh, underneath texture of the crocodile. So I used a kind of a yellowy kind of thing. Then I thought, I need to smooth it down. I need to kind of, it's too big. I've got to kind of get it, reduce this down. So it just looks like a, a kind of a texture, a little texture underneath there. There we go. 
Okay, cool. Uh, right, let's have a look around him and see what we've got going on. Just smooth out some more bits. Okay, we just need to fill out a bit of this jaw. It's kind of empty over here, so we'll just fill this jaw bit in over here. Perfect. There we go. And when I'm doing these kind of things as well, I'm standing up in a room, okay? So it's a very physical activity to do. Uh, one that's, you know, I find very enjoyable as well. So there we go. Get his head all sorted out. <laughs> it's great. It looks really good. It looks very cartoony, exactly what I wanted. Uh, we've got a little pencil tool. So this is the this is the problem tooth. This is the problem tooth. Another crack through his tooth. There we go. I don't know if you read children's stories before, but uh, it's often a it's often a crocodile who's a bit unhappy with everything, a bit grumpy with the world, and uh, sometimes he's had uh, a bit of a toothache. And, and along comes a smaller animal, a much more vulnerable animal, and the animal pulls that tooth out, and then the crocodile and that animal are best of friends. Well, hope you've enjoyed Digital Soup Kitchen this week. Do join me again next week, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, thank you and goodbye. <laughs>